really good time for Coventry. You turn up, see just queues of people outside. Parties went off. It was like chaos outside. Because you had all the Manchester lot come up, you had the lot from Birmingham. You'd have all of the London Massive that came up on the coaches. All the local crews and everybody's in there and everybody knows they've got to behave in there. And it just worked. That kind of friction works. Whenever he, like, it, it just went off in there. They were superb parties. Crazy, crazy times. It was a, a groundbreaking night. And Coventry, I think, kind of didn't realise what it had and didn't use what it had to its own advantage. Is it because it was in Coventry? It wouldn't have happened anywhere else, and it didn't. So, yeah, it was a, a British, unique thing. Was Coventry one of the birthplaces of jungle and drum and bass? I, I would 100% have to say yes. We've gone through this summer of love, but now we're angry again. So we went back to that violence type of thing and it introduced that back into it because I think the violence came from greed. People saying, I deserve to have part of this. I deserve to uh, get everything I can out of this. And that unfortunately, to me, is one of the downfalls from Coventry. Coventry is, 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 is a big player in terms of music in general. You know, you had Scar, Two Tone, all the top stuff, the specials. And then obviously you've got the rave scene as well. And Coventry should be very proud that it can stand there with its head held high and say, things happened just off that ring road that are worldwide. And people talk about them worldwide. And that can't be forgotten.